so now what we we'll see is uh, we've just seen ask a question in a form of a visualization there is an another use of ask a question which i'll just tell you shortly let's explore what are the buttons so just for the simplicity's sake i have built a new page which has all the options of all the buttons available so if you have a look at it it is a left arrow right arrow reset back information help q and a and bookmark right these are the different options available and i have just bought them onto the page these can be used in different places as per your need only thing you need to remember is after you get in a button on your screen you have to enable its action please don't forget to enable the action what i try to say over here is go back to the previous page so that's where i have selected and you can redirect it to a web url it will open a url on a new tab you can enable a question and answer option right away on the same screen by clicking on a button you can bookmark the current page somewhere or you can go back these are the four options available in this case i have selected a back option over here for an information thing what i have done is i have redirected it to a url so let's rename it to something like www.google.com for our simplicity and learning sake if you have some question we can redirect it to a q and a so this is another use of ask a question option over here but with some slight variance over here bookmark i have made an action as bookmark and made it as bookmark number 1 that's where things will go you can all optionally add tool tip as bookmark so that you know what will happen this is go back so if you check on it by default whenever you click on a visualization its properties open up in this second last frame right in this just explore option of this since this is one way of setting it to back this is another way of setting it to back this is a third way of setting it to back option so similarly for the back option i have set it over here these are the four five things what i have used over here uh please remember power bi desktop would always be a work in progress in terms of development and product given to the end users so you would see incremental value addition to all of these new features what you are seeing to it online now let's deploy this to deploy this you have to first sign in so i have signed in with my name into my domain now i click on publish it would ask you to save the content changes what you've done on this power bi desktop which i say it as yes where do you want to move it it is in my workspace is where i want to move it to there is already something which is already published earlier that was the same power bi desktop development i had published it to two minutes back uh, in my testing environment so what i'll do is i'll replace the changes done to this file and the file name is always pbix like doc file is the word file docx is the word 2000 and uh, or latest 2016 files similarly power bi desktop will always have pbix file when you have this power bi it shows you a success option you can directly click on it and it takes you to that screen right it takes you to that same report which you have deployed this is your starting point now see this if i say superstore right it takes me to the page one of it i can do everything over here then i have an option to go back it clicks and takes me to the same earlier page similarly i have an option to go back and similarly a third option to go back right now another way of looking at it is if you want some information and you have some url some reference documents to be read that can be given over here it opens up as a new uh, option over here and it give opens this item up right let's go back if you have some question answer right you can click on it and by default a slight variance of ask a question is it will help you configure your question you can check certain queries what power bi has built it for you this is right now a power bi service when you see power app.powerbi.com we are in the power bi service model right now it is not power bi desktop you already published it to the microsoft website and you are exploiting or using the services of microsoft so if i want to see top revenue by the city so it will give you a city wise revenue for your consumption if you only want to sort the orders by quantity this order had the maximum quantity right 
total revenue over time so based on different dates on a time frame basis it will tell you 2015 to 2017 was a period it was a slightly lean period for the sales 2017 there was a, a very sharp spike followed by a persistent sales so overall you get some high level understanding of your content what are the most two recent orders it was sorted by date and it would give you these are the orders which are recent ones so amongst all the ship dates this is the latest orders which we have shipped show the maximum rate this would show the maximum rate which we have if you have any other thing you can always say uh, quantity by city which city is ordering these are the orders sent to akron albert quake and alexandria are the three cities which are having maximum orders from our superstore so this helps the management decide as in where to strengthen the supply chain and distribution lines and where to uh, like kind of shift them from a poor performing or the less uh, uh, demanding locations so you can do an escape from here and you are out of that you can bookmark this you can you can bookmark that and bookmarks are available over no these are not available over here bookmark is available over here you can say capture this report state add a bookmark and you can save it right so right now this bookmark thing is not working for some reason and it is redirecting right so certain things does happen in that way we can always verify where does bookmark lead to we can check bookmark is going to bookmark one right so that's how it is one last thing to view over here is if you hover over it it would show you the name bookmark right so that's what is the uh, one of the options over here now uh, we are through with the button if you are using some text images you can always click on the text box and if you want to title super short some some kind of a title you wish to give so you can increase you can make it bold you can make it about font size 18 you can make it so you will have to super tall sale report right now if you look at it i just selected this and i make it bold i make it huge so i make it 20 pointer i make it different into Arial black and then I just reduce the size right this can be used I can copy this content or I can cut this content right so what I'll do is control X or I don't want to remove this okay control control Y this is to undo it so this uh, power bi desktop has the same shortcuts as your any of your Microsoft software now control x you do it and make it control v is it there not there let's go back let's go back let's go back we say cut it's gone and we say control v or we say click on it and we say paste it's available over here you we can we can change it we can move it to some kind of the report this is how it is now basis this we have understood more or less how these things work uh, right now we will not import anything from the marketplace we are not importing anything from a file let's have a look at the theme let's change the theme to electric you will see certain changes over here if you change it to high contrast it would show something like this if you change it to to highlight it would show you some different color scheme this is a color scheme identified by the microsoft based on their years of experience into development let's stick to default for now all right uh, manage relationship is the same thing what we rather do by clicking okay this is the same thing what we rather do clicking on the graphical way or the visual way of making the relationship so as you see there are three three arrow marks over here this is the first arrow mark this is the second arrow mark this is the third arrow mark if you want to view it in a uh, tabular form you can always go back and click on manage relationships when you click on manage relationships it would you have to select which relationship are you talking to so let's select 
order to return so if you select the second thing order to return thing it would show you many to one relationship from orders to return that means for every order in the orders table there would only be one available order in the returns thing and do you have a cross filter or not the the definition of cross filter direction meaning when you filter something related to the returns do you want the order also to get filtered or no or on, or you want only the orders to filter the returns so right now we've said all orders should filter the return and not the other way around and you can also make the relationship inactive by removing the checkbox over here this means that the relationship although it exists but we are not using it in our power bi development so at the, it is as good as a non relative data set all right with this we conclude the home menu of the power bi desktop publish icon is used to publish to the power bi server so let's click on it do you want to save the changes yes i want to save the changes now as i save the changes it would ask me where i want to publish it i select the location where i want to publish it these locations help you distinguish between the end users who would have access to what kind of workspace so right now it is my workspace which is my development workspace which i have not shared it with anybody so right now i am deploying it into the power bi cloud yes this is done right 